Hey, it is February 25, 2023, and today Pastor John MacArthur tweeted a rare picture with his wife, Patricia. You know, BTWN News does a lot of videos about Pastor John, and with every video I, I do, I, I make a thumbnail. What you're looking at right now is the thumbnail for this video with a picture and some words that, you know, hopefully are interesting enough that will cause people to click on it, right? And um, I'm often looking for pictures. And whenever the topic has to do with uh, Pastor John and his wife, I, I do a search for Pastor John and his wife or John MacArthur, John and Patricia MacArthur. And <laughs> There are less than a handful of pictures. Uh, actually, there's like two good pictures of Pastor John <clears throat> with his wife, Patricia. You know, good on him for being private. Good on him. I mean, there's all kinds, I'm sure, and all his, like his children. Think of Think of social media and the way you post pictures or I post pictures. I post pictures with my children and my grandkids and, and, uh, my father-in-law and, you know, all, all these other family members. I post them all the time, you know, look at my family. Look, look, God, God has blessed me with this wonderful family. Well, Pastor John and all his kids and grandkids, you don't see pictures of Grandpa John at, they're just very private. The, just, Leave it at that. Very private. Pastor John would rather be about on social media, that is, um, <clears throat> known as the the preacher of the word, verse by verse, exposition of the word, and chooses to be very private. But every once in a while, he posts a picture with family members, and he did it today. So that's what this video is about and and much more. Uh, Pastor John has tweeted a picture with his wife, Patricia. If you would like to watch uh, all my videos without commercials, uh, go to BibleThumpingWingnet.com and click right here. Support our ministry and support on Ko-Fi for any amount as low as $3 uh, a month. You get more content and all the content without commercials. Um, here it is. Here's the, here's the, here's the picture. <laughs> it doesn't, it, it rarely, if ever snows in Southern California. And today, Pastor John and Patricia decided to go outside and take a picture with the snow and also to post a comment to all of us. But here is a fantastic picture. You <laughs> do don't realize how rare this is. This is super rare. Um, but it's great to see Pastor John dressed in black all the way to his shoes. <laughs> Patricia with her, I don't know, some kind of flops there. Um, looking good and together. Pastor John, stay tuned. If, stay tuned till the end of this video of why this is so significant and why I'm so giddy about it. Great picture, Pastor John and Patricia. Uh, Pastor John, um, looking forward to speaking at the Shepherds Conference. Let me read his comment here. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. Excited to share what's on my heart with many of you at the upcoming ShepCon. Um, I won't be there. Lord willing, maybe I'm leaning towards committing to going next year. What do you think? Should I go? Uh, leave your comments below of what you think of this picture of Pastor John and Patricia. Um, it's very meaningful. So stay tuned to the end of this video. Um, Pastor John looking forward to, as he says in the comment, uh, to sharing what's on his heart at Shepherd's Conference. He's uh, taking multiple weeks off before Shepherd Con. Uh, from preaching at Grace Community Church, which is not, uh, it's 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 not out of 
the ordinary. He, this is what he usually does. He takes multiple weeks before Shepherd's Conference off, just like he takes uh, time off in the summer. So great picture, great picture of Pastor John and Patricia. Pastor John's not only speaking at the Shepherd's Conference, he's speaking at the International Symposium, which happens March 7th, the day before Shepherd's Conference. Uh, here again is the uh, schedule for Shepherd's Conference. Pastor John opening on Wednesday. That's the day after that event that I just showed you. There's a little symposium uh, uh, before that. Pastor John will be speaking at that, and then he's speaking at this um, general session number one, and then he's uh, on Friday, he's closing it out. So he's opening and closing Shepherd's Conference, as well as, oh, sorry for this excessive scrolling, but on Thursday, he's doing a Q&A at 1130. So <clears throat> he's a busy man, and uh, good on him for taking some time away from the pulpit you know what? About three years ago, two years ago, I made a big deal about Pastor John. I'm like, hey, he's not preaching on, why isn't he preaching on Sunday morning? And uh, it, and it was this time of the year. Um, what, I, what I didn't realize is that he usually takes time off, not only in the middle of the summer, but he takes time off before the Shepherds Conference. So this is normal. This is normal for him to be absent from the pulpit. He will be um, not preaching uh, this coming Sunday. Uh, the uh, the uh, bulletin has been posted publicly. He's not preaching this Sunday. And he'll preach. I don't know if he'll preach before Shepherd's Conference, but he, he has made the commitment that he's preaching at the Shepherd's Conference. Uh, Owen, don't know how to say his last name, very well-known theologian, he comments and says, love the faithfulness displayed in this picture <clears throat> and eager to hear this lion of the word at Shepherd's Con. Shep Con. Still a fantastic picture. Here's Justin Peters' comment. What a wonderful picture, John. It does my heart good to see you and Patricia out enjoying the snow. Know that you are both loved and prayed for. And another comment by Robert Schultz. Pastor John, your ministry is bearing so much fruit in the world today. Be encouraged. In the little church where I attend, we have a TMS grad who simply teaches the Bible verse by verse every week. People are being saved and sanctified. Thank you for your faithful ministry. I read that wrong. Thank you for your ministry and faithfulness. Another comment by... Igor. Dear Pastor John, we love you so much. You brought me and my wife to Christ. Reading your commentaries on Romans now. Love and greetings from Russia. Ooh, didn't realize he's from Russia when I set this up. Wonderful, wonderful ministry of Pastor John. Great to see him out there in the snow in Southern California. <laughs> When was the last time it snowed in Southern California? Um, here we go. A few comments. One from Alice. So thankful for my time at GCC for over 10 years. Thank you for your faithful preaching of God's word. Pastor John, love you and Patricia. Josh Weiss of G3 Ministries. We will be there, referring to Shep Khan, and looking forward to hearing you preach the word. And Ken says, God bless you. Violet says, praise God. So grateful to see you reign your, reign your strength and health by Kevin. Hey, I didn't read these before. Anyway, people are responding to a rare, exciting picture. 
It seems silly. It's just that I'm a little giddy because there are so few pictures of them together. It's great to see that Pastor John is with his wife and uh, caring for her and she for him. All right. Let's see. Go back here. There you go. Now, if you want to, if you want to hear <laughs> more about why this is so epic, um, why it's so epic that MacArthur has tweeted a picture with Pastor John, again, go to BibleThumpingWingnut.com and click on Support Our Ministry because the rest of this video is on Ko-Fi. And if you support me on Ko-Fi for any amount, um, you can watch the rest of this video. All right. I'm more, I have more to say about why this is so epic. Um, but for whatever reason, I'm going to share it <laughs> only on Ko-Fi. But for those of you who don't like drama and you just want to hear about Pastor John and how he's doing, here you go. The rest of this video is on Ko-Fi. All right, so thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, obviously subscribe. And uh, for those of you not joining me on Ko-Fi, thanks for watching, and may God bless. Take care.